AI is officially good enough that you can easily download and install it and run it for free on your own computer without the internet, and the results are pretty good. Vin Diesel driving a forklift in the desert good. The most impressive one to me personally is the text-based AI. It will actually improve your life. And because it runs offline, you can be a lot more open and personal with what you ask it and not worry about information leaks as much. It even knows the difference in trim level on 2024 cars. I recently changed phone service providers, and for some reason, my phone would call from the correct new number, but it was still texting from the old phone number, even though that SIM card was shredded in a trash can and not the SIM card that was presently in the phone. After 30 minutes of searching online, I gave up and asked the AI. It didn't 100% solve the issue, but it did point me in the right direction so that the next thing I searched was the answer and fixed it in two minutes. Are you tired of eating the same meals every week? Let AI suggest something new or let it modify the recipes you already make. Got kids? No matter how many books you have, they want the same story every single night. Which is why I had it change the Very Hungry Caterpillar into the Very Hungry Monster Truck. For reasons that will soon become apparent, I will read you a section of the bedtime story it came up with where the kids cannot hear it. There was a big and powerful monster truck named Max, who loved nothing more than driving around and crushing things with his massive tires. As he drove along, he saw all sorts of creatures that he wanted to run over. Little rabbits hopping across his path, squirrels scurrying up trees, even a group of birds perched in some nearby branches. But as Max was about to crush them with his tires, something strange happened. The animals spoke. They begged and pleaded for him not to... Okay, that one's a bad example, but normally it does a much better job, especially if you give it more to work with. GPT for All installs just like any other app. I recommend installing the wizard model because it gives longer responses, and that's what I use 90% of the time. You can choose how many CPU threads you want it to use, and it will run slower on like 12 year old hardware, but on a modern laptop CPU, it's actually pretty fast. Easy diffusion for generating pictures can work without a video card, but it will take multiple minutes to generate a picture as opposed to throwing something like a GTX 1070 at it, in which case you can knock out a couple pictures a minute. The world of picture generating AI is a huge rabbit hole. Installation starts as simple as just installing the app and you theoretically could start making pictures, but you're going to want to download more models. The model is what actually matters when you go to generate the picture. Hugging Face is the website I use to pick out models for myself, and then you just download the files and dump them in your Easy Diffusion folder and you're off to the races. To get ideal results, you're definitely going to want different models for different things. The model that generates Elmo as a live action anime character and a cat sleeping on a pizza are going to be two very different models. Let me know what AI you're using down below. Post your fanfic down in the comments. I will read them. If you have an easy AI voice changer, please let me know about that one, because I definitely don't want to subscribe to the other one. Unlike my YouTube channel, which is free to subscribe to. Just saying.